Hello and welcome to another class of fifth generation. So today in this class we are going to discuss about small cells, 5G small cells. Now as per the requirement of fifth generation, so in 5G we have a requirement that there should be thousand times increase in data exchange. So, thousand time increase in the data exchange and this thousand time increase in the data exchange I can say that this parameter is a challenge of fifth generation is a challenge of fifth generation so in order to meet this challenge we have a concept of small cells we have a concept of small cells now here in fifth generation we are using the concepts of Head nets. Head nets as heterogeneous networks. As in a previous generation, when we are uh, deploying a network with a similar kind of cells, so we call it as homogeneous network. Whereas in this fifth generation, we are using that here in this case, we are using all kind of small cells we are not going to make similar cells with a similar radius all over the planned network like not homogeneous network we are going to use the different kind of small cells in the network so that we can have heterogeneous network which is a concept with the name of head nets we call it as 5g head nets because 5g is using all kind of small cells in the network Now, what are the uh, kind of the cells like small cells we have in head nets? We are using femtocells, picocells, metrocells, micro, macrocells, release. Interviews. So every kind of cells we are using in a 5G head nets that means heterogeneous network. Now here in this case what we require in a, a small cell that these small cells should be self-optimized and low cost. As we have to focus on cost efficiency, so we are like these cells should be self optimized. Now, here in this case, like this small cell should support Tecno 3G, 4G, as well as Wi Fi, Wi Fi technology, and more small cells everywhere. That means if you see the area, it should be filled with the number of small cells that means area is fully occupied with more and more small cells everywhere now here in this case like we have that we have more or indoor small cell we are creating indoor small cells now question is that why we are creating indoor small cells because most of the traffic generated nowadays is indoor now, if we compare with the indoor traffic as with the outdoor traffic, so indoor traffic is more as compared to the outdoor traffic. So, in order to improve the performance, we have to install indoor small cells. And we have, like, what are the enabler of small cells? If we see the enabler of small cells, so enabler of small cell is ultra self-optimized networks that means they can coordinate with one another they can optimize with coordination they can have mobility that means handover should be faster from one small cell to another small cell and as it is coordination among the cells so that's why we are using a concepts of heterogeneous network and a small cells in 5G. We are using a types of the cell because as per the area, as per the traffic demand and as per the number of the users, we are going to make cells accordingly. And to consume, uh, 
to save the cost as well as the energy we are reducing the size of the cell because more we have the size of the cell the data rate will be affected so if i compare the cell from different generation gsm cell radius is more so if i compare this gsm cell with 3g so cell radius is small because data rate is a factor in 4g now the 5g small cell radius will be more short because this having a more data and it is having a less so cell size keep on decreasing as we are moving because cost efficiency power efficiency spectrum efficiency are the factors for deciding the radius of the cells this is about 5g small cells thank you so much